What do you want from me, game? What? Don't be so shocked. <laughs> you know me. Hi. Okay, Jake. I told you. Desmond O'Leary. Huh? I know you work for him. There we now go. just making stuff up. Why would you say that? Oh, um. O'Leary's men told me a while ago. Okay, let's say you're right. So what? What are you gonna do, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a detective. What do you think I'll do? Yeah, definitely better detective than friend. All right, you win, pussycat. Ooh. Business isn't going that well lately. Natalia was my last well-paying job, and it's been a while. Then O'Leary shows up and offers me a, 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 a bodyguard contract. Oh, what was right. I supposed to do? Yeah, I understand. Seriously, you don't seem like the type to accept uh, shady offers. <laughs> I've done things like that and worse, but I'm not proud of them. This very morning, for example. Hey. Uh, O'Leary might run an illegal gambling operation, but it's not like he's killing people or conning widows. And I, not. I'm just a bodyguard. I make sure no one gets hurt. What I do, including my contract and paycheck, is 100% legal. How bad can that be? Um. O'Leary pays you with dirty money, and you're part of a criminal organization. There's no two ways about it, but that's not what bothers me. Oh, goodness. Um, I don't want to say that, so let's do this. I know you're covering up O'Leary's role in Joe Dunn's death. Huh? O'Leary? No way. I mean, I don't think so. Jake, yeah, well, you're please. the smart well, guy. I guess there's no point in hiding it now. Here we go. I was here the day Dunn died. Go on. Well, I had to take care of some business for O'Leary. He makes me wear the shamrock when I work for him. As you know, I left the damn thing in my locker. Say no more. You came in the back door. How did you... Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Joe had mentioned he'd been painting that afternoon, but I forgot. Yes? I stopped in my tracks when I saw him screaming bloody murder at Bobby Yale at the top of the scaffold. Okay. Did this happen often? Not in the last few years. Apparently, Bobby wanted to do something. Something that horrified Joe. So, Joe threatened to call off fight. the fight against Stone and kick him out of the gym for good. I didn't want them to see me, so I left. Jake, why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd be pissed off. Well, you were wrong. I'm sorry, John. I, I should have said something. Was he going to throw the fight? Oh. You should have. Let's just say you owe me one, all right? You sure drive a hard bargain, John. All right. Hey. Time to go. I need to think about everything you just told me. Yes, I do. So what if... What if he threw the... What if he wanted to throw the fight to get extra money? And... Um... What? That's... Okay. <laughs> It's not supposed to be that way. I mean, that happened, right? You bet against yourself or something, and I have no clue how that works, but then when you throw the fight, you purposely lose, then you get all the money. It's not, it's not nice. It's not a nice thing to do. Let's talk to the lady, I guess. Let's see. Hey, lady. Hello. Did you find anything interesting in those papers? No. Investigation work takes time, as I'm sure you know. Mm hmm. Okay, never mind. So, what else? What else would I do this? Hmm. I don't 
don't think there's um No. Okay. <gasps> Little dark sun is here. I missed you, girl. You missed a hell of a story. Hi. Also, dirty pictures. You want? You want to see them? You want to see them? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Hi. I was work. And also this, yeah. There was a moida. There was a moida. You didn't miss that much. I had half an hour of 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 audio problems in the, at the start of the stream. Because <laughs> Windows update. Um, I'm just looking for connections, but I'm not sure if I can make. Footprints and then the paint can? Yeah, maybe. Footprints. Let me see. I don't think so. No. So I don't think I can make another deduction. Oh, nice. Good to know. Yeah, Damos helped really well. Fixing the problem, and apparently, of course, it was something tiny that I overlooked. Of course, it's so weird that it defaulted to muting the output. It was no, well, anyway. Thanks again for the help, Damos. <laughs> it was, oh, it was something. Can I talk to the guy again, or is he now permanently? Oh, wait, permanently asleep. Can I call someone? Oh, can I call? Oh, let's do that. See what happens. I'm just curious at this point. <laughs> this is gonna be problematic. Hello. Black side here. Please don't tell me my husband. Um, I said it was gonna. Yes, Mrs. Colbert. I'm afraid you were right to hire me. Oh, oh what have I done? I'm gonna rip his horn out. This is so bad. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I should. He helped me. He helped me. Oh, I should not have done that. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I forgot he helped me. Oh, terrible! <laughs> oh no, I hate Scrubs. quick actions. Joe Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Like that? Is that you? You got me. How's everything, Chief? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Too much work as usual. As for Joe Dunn, he hanged himself. End of story. I'm too busy, John. I can't afford to put a single. I d I'm. <laughs> Spin up the time machine. <clears throat> I I didn't want to do that. I hope I hope I can rectify that because oh my goodness, that's terrible. I really forgot he was helping me. Save scum. I honestly forgot. Oh good. Okay, that's okay. Yay! <laughs> let's uh, let's do that again, shall we? <laughs> it was terrible. I did forget. The thing is, they were on top of me and uh, threatening and stuff, and that's what I remembered. The helping not so much, and I think it's because oh, the game froze again. I think it's because. Um, 
Oh. I couldn't see him because the other guy was on the phone. Well, anyway. Oh, it did not like the time machine, did it? Game? Sweet, sweet dear game. Hey, mm. Stugs. It's a buggy game. It is, it is somewhat buggy, yes. Let's try this again. We're gonna lie this time. Is that I I don't like lying, but in this case. <laughs> Hello. Black Sad here. Please don't tell me my husband. You have nothing to worry about, Mrs. Colbert. Do me a favor and enjoy your family. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Mr. Black Sad. That's gonna bite me in the butt later, I guess. Yeah, get my word. I like that. Okay. Skull Chief. Ah. Joe Dunn, the boxing coach. You hear anything about his death? Like that. Is that you? Yep. You got me. How's everything, Chief? Oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Too much work as usual. As for Joe Dunn, he hanged himself in the story. I'm too busy, John. I can't afford to put a single man on the case. Why are you asking? Dunn and the gym's cleaning lady were about to get married. Great. Call what's news. They'll know what to do with such an incredibly interesting piece of information. The combination on Dunn's safe was her birthday. He even gave her a ring. You know, your typical suicidal bliss. Okay, I'm still not convinced, but I might have something for you. Ooh. Tell me. Oh, I see what you did there, William Wall. Such a buggy game, yes. It's like, like, there's a black hole where the last few minutes happened. I don't know what happened. It's really funny. <laughs> I don't know. Out of order? But what about my musics? Oh, man. Life is often off key. Like a bad song. The notes come together, but feel flat. Unable to create anything resembling music. And yet, the boss. there are ways to string them together to create harmony. Ways that are not always entirely in our hands. He's a handsome fellow, isn't he? Hi. Good doggo. You look tired, John. I was poor tired. I can't help it. It's just the way we cats are. Well, I can't help but be glad to see you. Yep, I'm beat. I'm starving. Just got back from the annual police medical. Not only did I have to fast, but I also had to chug two enormous glasses of water. Okay. John, so. you alright? I've had better days. And I'll have them again, I hope. We both deserve to. The thing is, I'd love to help you out with this case, but I can't. What? You know I work for the state of New York. If I had any information, I couldn't share it with a private eye. What if you lost Even information? Even if it was lying on top of this table. Um. You said you were starving. Why don't you go to the counter and order something? Hmm? Yeah. yeah, sure, good idea. If you'll excuse me. <clears throat> <laughs> oh look information <laughs> well 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 what do we have here yes the season Joseph is done he's a widower he's male I know that links dark brown 47 Way tight. I just five five though. That's interesting. Okay. Date of death. Mm hmm. 
Cause of violent asphyxia. Violent asphyxia? So, that... Hold on. I have ideas about this. Violent is caused by a rope around the neck. The neck presented... The neck presented four ring-shaped marks around the entire circumference caused by said rope. I don't mm. believe that. Swollen and slightly scraped knuckles on the subject's right hand probably caused recent trauma. Okay. Interesting. What about that chest expander, guys? He could have been um, um, choked by that and then hung by a rope. No internal autopsy was performed since external evidence seemed sufficiently conclusive. Okay. Hi, you're back. Now that I think of it, I better eat at home. It's healthier. Thanks. The truth is, John, it all seemed clear to me before, but now... Please, promise me you won't take the law into your own hands. What, me? I'd like what? to think we're not just vigilantes. Um, well. I'll try, but sometimes there's no alternative. All right. I have to be honest, dude. In any case, keep me posted, will you? I will. <clears throat> Friend, you can count on it. Take care, John. As always, Smirnoff had given me new, potentially relevant information. Not to mention second thoughts. When an old dog like him gets that serious, one must be prepared to bite. Hmm. So... <sighs> it's a bit weird, though, and not very smart. Because what if he was, um, choked... I need another word for that. Um, strangled with the uh, chest expander. And then you throw it in the trash? I mean, that's not very smart. Um, I want to have this and this. He was murdered because there is no way he wasn't tall enough to hang himself from that noose. That's the one I was looking for. So. He when he was 5'5". Five, five. That's not very tall, right? I'm much taller than Dunn. And I can barely reach the noose. Exactly. There's no way Dunn hanged himself. Not on his own, at least. Nope. I don't know, William Wall. I don't know. Let's see what else we have. So. Um, see, John had four different neck marks. No stepping stool? No, there was a stepping stool. There was a stepping stool. He stepped on that. You could see that. He stepped on that and still he wasn't um, tall enough to reach that rope. It should be neck height and it wasn't. So, that was the weird thing. Does that need...
Okay, I'll try something else then. Now you could al you could also see that the first time uh, we looked at the rope, you could see that it was very high up. So it was really, really weird. No, but this is something. There we go. Bobby Yale. I don't know if you had a motive to kill Dunn, but you certainly had the murder weapon. Yep. And that is suspicious. So what else? Um... Oh, you want to go? Okay. No? Okay. Okay. Christ. Did Yale kill Dunn just because he wanted to call off the fight? That's an assumption. Oh, jeez. Huh. Okay. I always knew Bobby had issues. But I never thought he'd go that far. Everything seems to point in that direction. I'm certain of it. But he could have been framed, couldn't he? Yes. In any case, that doesn't change a thing. It does, actually. Now we know he didn't kill himself. That is a thing. My father's still dead. And you still haven't found Bobby Yale. Hey, I'm working on it. Nothing has changed. <laughs> Opening the safe and finding my father's will won't help us achieve anything. Peace of mind? So please hurry. Time's wasting. She's so nice, isn't she? Oh my goodness. What's your problem, lady? Sonia's indifference never ceased to amaze me. So rude. But most importantly, why was she suddenly defending Yale? I don't know. Who are you? John Blacksad? Who's asking? I think I owe you an apology. Oh, God, who are you? <laughs> oh! I know who that Do is. I know you? I don't seem to remember your face. <laughs> Well, uh, maybe you remember my boys. I do. I'm so sorry they wrinkled your suit. The thing is, uh, <laughs> they didn't know we shared a common goal. Hi. Bobby Yale. I want to find him and get to the bottom of this as much as you do, Mr. Blacksad. So please, kindly accept my invitation. Why not share our findings? Come on. Well, I'll get in your car. Sure. Of course. You don't mind me riding in this fancy car with a wrinkled suit, do you? Oh, I think you look mighty dapper, Mr. Black Sad. Although, if those wrinkles were to rub off on me. No, it's fine. I don't feel <laughs> threatened at all. <laughs> Good I Lord. always play it nice and safe. Hey, no need for that. Can I smoke in your car? 
No. I'd rather make that decision on my own than be coerced too much. <laughs> Hmm, where is this going though? He threatens me anymore. Thank you, Black Sad. You won't regret this. So let's cut to the chase. I need Bobby Yale to fight Stone. There's just too much money at stake. So I'm offering you my help to find Yale. Let's work together. Okay. What kind of help do you need? A simple exchange of information. You're a good detective. And I, well, let's just say I have my own ways of making people talk. <laughs> I think I'll have to pass this time. Why? What? Do my own ways scare you? Please, hear me out. Let's say I bet a beer that we find Yale in three days. And you bet a beer that we don't. In three days, one of us has to buy the other a beer. Is that so bad? We're simply two grown men using our money and free will to conduct a small private exchange. I'm not and dropping frames, guys. We're not hurting anyone. So, yeah, I run a gambling business. What's so bad about that? Now I am. I can't really say. Well, I can. Nothing. But I'll tell you what is wrong. The way I... Hold on. I think we're good now. There was, uh, there was a little issue. I think it's, it's back now. Hold on, let me, let me check something. Do, 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 do. This is not a good day for streaming. <laughs> now it should be fine right now. I have no issues at the moment. Hmm. Let's see. The government is ruining America. We live in a so-called free country. 